Good morning, you guys. Tomorrow I have my first AMP exam, and I thought I would film a study with me. Now I am, I'm starting off my studying a little bit later than I typically like to. I like giving myself a week in advance to prepare for an exam. But this week has been really crazy. I've had all kinds of assignments too that I've just had to prioritize and I've taken it day by day, but I have a lot to do today and it's worked out perfectly because both of my classes, sorry about Layla, because both of my classes are online. So I don't even have to leave my apartment. That is why I am in a sweatshirt and I have no makeup and I don't even remember if I brushed my hair to be honest with you all. But uh, I wanted to show you how I am preparing for this exam, sort of like a study with me video. Uh, I love watching these and I feel like it's really on brand for my channel. So I'm just gonna take you guys along and show you how I study in hopes and get good grades on my first exam. So I'm really sorry if it's loud in here. My dishwasher is going right now, but I wanted to show you all one of the ways in which I prepare for exams and that is to Rewrite my notes. Now, I usually do this as I go, but there has been two lectures that I haven't got to rewrite my notes. So something I do is I will download the PowerPoint and pay attention to it in class and take notes, highlight the important areas, and then I go back and I write them into my actual notes. So it's just a little refresher and it makes things click in my mind better whenever I kind of go over them twice and it's been proven the more you write things down the more you memorize it so that is why I like to rewrite my notes but now I am going to begin doing that I have two lecture uh, powerpoints to rewrite and then she had an online module over uh, like body regions and directional terms and like the different systems in the body that we had to know on our own. So I'm also going to take notes on those. And then I will get back to you guys later. So I have finished the first half of rewriting my notes. I finished my two lecture PowerPoints. So we covered dermis and wound healing, and then we done integument accessory structures. So I've got those taken, and now the only ones I have left are for the online modules that we were supposed to do by ourselves. And I mean, honestly, this is super easy. I probably wouldn't even have to rewrite them, but like I mentioned before, the more you rewrite something, the better it sticks with you. Sorry if you can hear Layla eating. She's eating kind of loud, but I decided to take a break and my break is honestly going to be my pre-cal homework over there, which is really sad, but I've just got a lot I need to do today. And you know, I can't really be taking breaks to like watch Netflix and stuff like that. Cause I know as soon as I do, I'm going to get distracted and waste a lot of my time. So. I will update you all whenever I get back to studying for my AMP exam. Little update, I just finished my pre-cal, so I was going to get started on more AMP notes, but my political theory class is about to begin, so I think I'm gonna have to just eat a quick snack and get ready for class. And then after class, I will continue rewriting all of my notes. Hey guys, so I just finished my political theory um, Zoom class. So now it's time to get back to work on rewriting my notes. I have to finish rewriting the two uh, PowerPoints for the online modules. So over like the directional terms and the body systems. And then once I finish that, I'm done rewriting my notes and I move on to phase two of studying for my first anatomy and physiology exam. I'm kind of just, going with the flow here i don't really know the best way to prepare so i'm just doing what i typically do and then she's provided us with resources that i'm going to talk 
more in depth about later and that's kind of just what I'm doing in hopes that it'll get me a really good grade. I'd love to have an A, really would and I feel like I definitely could get that because I enjoy anatomy and I've been doing really well on the quizzes. So fingers crossed the exam goes just as well but anyways let's get back into rewriting my notes. you guys I'm officially done with rewriting my notes for anatomy and it's time to move on to making flashcards but first of all like look how good these have turned out ignore my ugly handwriting I know it's horrible but good notes and digital note-taking really has changed my life and the way that I take my notes and the way that I study it's just really nice being able to like take the pictures and include them into my notes because like if I was doing it on paper I'd have to print them and glue them and it's a mess I've done it before but yeah it's been amazing and I really think it's helped boost my grade because when I'm taking my lab exams I'll show you for example like I can easily just like have the pictures of tissues on or included in my notes so whenever I'm studying it's like right there I don't have to switch from a notebook onto my computer. It's just all right here for me and I just see them more. So I familiarize myself more with like the different types of tissues. I'm kind of rambling right now, but anyways, I just really recommend good notes. If you have a way to, you know, start digital note taking, highly recommend you do it. It's amazing. It's honestly a game changer, but right now I'm gonna take a break and take Layla on a walk. So I'm about to go make my so I'm about to go make flashcards, but I first am going to take a little break and take Layla on a walk. I haven't left my apartment today except to take Layla out earlier and I'm kind of going a little crazy. I just need to get outside and get some fresh air. And Layla right now is being really destructive. So she needs to go let out some energy. I need to go let out some energy and then we will move on to making the flashcards and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I told y'all Layla was being really destructive and I just wanted to include this part in the video because it's funny. Uh, we got her this like little raccoon toy and she has ripped almost all the stuffing out of it. And then there's like more over here on this little like mat I have in front of the door. <laughs> but yeah, she's extremely energetic right now. So she's got to go on a walk. Hey guys, so I just got back in from walking Layla and I just want to stress how important it is to give yourself breaks, especially when you are studying for longer periods of time. I sometimes forget that and when I do, I start to crash and I notice that I'm not studying as well. I'm not um, picking up on the material. I'm not comprehending the material like I should be and I'm just getting really stressed out. So just doing something small like going outside for like a 10 minute walk is really really nice or just stop and read a book that you actually want to read for a little bit of time just do something take a little bit of time for yourself take a break or you are going to mentally drain yourself and that's not beneficial for your studying whatsoever so super quick you guys i just wanted to show you what an angel my a and p professor is Typically professors don't do this, but she is the top that she wants to see her students succeed. So she has provided us with an exam one study guide. So it has all the questions um, that we may see on the exam and it's just two pages. So I'm gonna go through tonight and answer all of these, see if I can answer them. And then she also has come out with an outline so it's just everything that's going to be on the exam. It's everything that we covered. So, I mean, obviously, I kind of knew all this stuff was going to be on it already. But it's just so nice because I can go through here and double check, make sure I'm not missing anything. So, if you have professors that do stuff like this, make sure you take the time out of your day to thank them and give them a compliment. Because they are doing extra that they really don't have to do for you 
So that she's simply doing this out of the goodness of her heart, and I just really appreciate it. I forgot to mention, but on top of all the outlines she has provided us, she is also doing a review tonight at 6.30. So she is honestly like a guardian angel. So she is definitely my favorite professor for this semester. I've never had a professor go above and beyond like she is. And it's just amazing to really know that you have a professor that truly cares. Because I feel like a lot of the times you get those professors, it's like, eh, you're going to do it or you're going to not. And they don't really show any emotion like they care about you. You're just a number. And she really cares and I just love her for that and all the things that she has provided for us is just incredible. update you guys and say that it is around 7 30 now and my review session just ended she answered quite a bit of questions I was really surprised I'm in a class with like 41 people and only 10 showed up so it's kind of sad because um, I feel like when professors don't get like good participation they're just not going to do anymore but the 10 that she did have we asked a lot of questions so she answered a lot of things and cleared some stuff up for me, which is really good. I have just been working on um, these questions. So what I've been doing is just writing them um, or answering them on the paper. And then I'm going to move them over onto flashcards. I feel like a lot of you may think what I'm doing is really just repetitive, but it's repetition and like writing down stuff more than once that really gets things to click inside my mind. But yeah, now I'm going to take another little break, probably take Layla on another walk and feed her. I have another pre-cal assignment to do, so I'll probably do that whenever I come back inside. And then I will get started on making the flashcards finally. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but I'm really going to do it this time. Hey guys, so it is a lot later now. Um, just finished pre-cal. I hate that it takes me so long to finish my pre-cal homework, but... At least we passed finally um i had to submit it or it would have been really bad it was already late because uh, there was an incident yesterday where i just did not get my work done on time but as long as i got it in like the next day i still get 90 percent credit which is really good so i had to get it in today and then i don't know it just takes me so long and i'm so irritated but i'm rambling i'm getting a really late start on studying for my exam um, but it's okay we're just gonna have to stay up for quite some time that's part of it in college you know you have so many classes and things seem to come all at once and it is what it is so let's get back into studying for anatomy I just want to say one of the things that I have been doing a whole lot is putting on like a lo-fi jazz um study playlist to help me concentrate and it has been a game changer it's like i really just am able to drill in and focus on whatever it is that i'm doing in that moment so i highly recommend looking up some lo-fi jazz playlists to study to just finished um, filling out my exam one outline and making my flashcards. 
Here is the stack of flashcards that I made. It's pretty thick, so I'm going to go over those in the morning uh, once I get ready for my exam. And I'm the type of person I like to get up and get ready and get dressed kind of nice before I go take an exam because I feel like dress for success, you know? Um, I'm so tired right now. All I can think about is going to bed. I literally physically could not comprehend anything else. Uh, I could feel myself for this end kind of like drifting off. And I was like, okay, uh, it's time to go to bed. I've got to stop because it just wouldn't be doing me any favors if I kept going and tried to stay up to like three in the morning cramming. I'm just not the type of person that can do that. So I'm going to get a good night's rest and I will update you all in the morning. Hey guys, it is the next morning. I haven't even dried my hair, but I have been looking over my exam outline, sort of quizzing myself as I was getting ready and doing my makeup. And now to let my hair air dry and then I'm eating some breakfast, I'm going to go over my um, practice exam. I don't have time to actually do the exam, but I'm just going to look at it and get familiar with how it's laid out because she said she hasn't really strayed much from the layout of the practice exam. So I'm going to familiarize myself with that. Maybe a question myself, like if I see a question that I'm not too sure about, because the key is on there as well. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, you guys, I have studied and it's almost time for me to leave to go to class. So I'll let you all know how I feel after the exam. I'm feeling pretty okay. I don't feel as prepared as what I probably should be, but I've done the best that I can. Uh, with all like the little time that I've honestly had to prepare for this. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. Hello everyone. I just got back from taking my exam and I just want to say I think i done really well. I really do feel like I got an A. I could totally be jinxing myself but I feel really confident about it. Um, my <laughs> stressful studying really paid off. But now I just wanted to talk to you all about some of the key things that I like to use that help me study. Number one, flashcards. I use these babies for everything. And like I've been mentioning in the previous clips, the more I write things down, the more it sticks with me because repetition is key. That's why you hear people like practice, 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 because it truly does work and it does stick with you. And I can say it really did help me a lot on my exam because I remembered writing everything down. So whenever I was asked a question, I was like, I remember writing this down like four times. So it really does help. Really recommend these. The second thing, which is another really important thing is to eliminate all distractions. So when I'm studying, I put my phone away. You can turn it on airplane mode. Do not disturb, put it in a drawer. Just don't be on your phone. Like you can't really focus if you're writing down something and then you're looking at Instagram every like two minutes. It's just not going to benefit you in the end. So really eliminate all distractions and really focus on whatever it is that you're studying. My third and final tip is to give yourself breaks. Don't sit there and study for like six hours straight. It's just going to eventually all start running together. So something I like to do is set a timer on my watch for maybe 30 minutes work and really focus for those 30 minutes and then 10 minutes give myself a break. So as you saw, I would like take Layla on a walk or my break would be pre-cal, which is kind of sad, but it had to be done. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the study with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications because I upload every Wednesday and Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please also comment down below what is some of your favorite study methods, things you use to study. I would love to hear them because I'd love to try them out. And also follow me on all my social medias. The links are always down in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all Saturday with a new video. Bye guys. Bye.